Ladies and gents, welcome to the platform. I've got Miss Jackie Pamote. How are you feeling? I feel good. How are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you too, man. After maybe, maybe 10, ten years. Yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. Ten La years. Last time I saw you, you know, you know, you were not a published author. You yeah. know, you know, you were someone who was on the come up. But now look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Growth. Yeah. So ten years is evident of work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've definitely put in your 10,000 hours, man, you know. And I want to, you know, go back a bit, like, looking at yourself as the, you know, the young lady then and who you are now. Did you think that the industry or the journey, rather, was going to be as easy, as smooth or as tough? You know, just take me through that. Like, how has it been? Um, you're right. I started in the industry about 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. Because I started in fashion and then we did promotions and then we did more fire and then we wrote. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I don't want to lie to you, it's been difficult mm -hmm. because my work is not work for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's very controversial work. Mm -hmm. It pokes a lot of feathers. Mm -hmm. um, and also when I started, I was very young. Mm -hmm. I was... I was a, a deep activist like I was mm. like I said what I wanted to say mm. at any given time and I stood by what I believed in mm. and gradually as I, I grow I'm more analytic of what I do mm. um, I'm more aware of the causes that I support and the things that I don't support mm. um, but I've been I've been good at keeping true to my entire identity without mm. shifting it, mm. and that 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 took time, you know, yeah. and and sacrifice. I mean, there were times where I was not invited to places because of the work that I do and the books that I write, and mm. people would be like, "Okay, I'm uncomfortable with her being there," mm. you know. So that takes grit and resilience to say, "I'm going to stick to what I'm doing, whether mm. they invite me or not, whether they support me or not, mm. whether they like me or not." Mm. And yeah, after many many years, yeah. it's getting comfortable. It, it, yeah. It's get, it's growing nicely. Mm. Um, people are respecting the work more now. Mm. And you see, it, it's growing. It's, it's creating conversations with people. People are more open to hear it. Because mm -hmm. in the beginning, they didn't want to hear anything. They just said, ah, Jack is lying. Hey, man, you know, it's, it's crazy. Um, yeah. And I remember, you know, you were one of the first people to actually talk about, like, you know, rituals on yes. social media and the stuff that people do, you know, yeah. Twala, which is now, like, everybody talks about. Exactly. And back in the day, you know, your life was kind of, like, in danger. Yeah. When you spoke about stuff like that. So, you know, how does it feel now seeing people talk about stuff that you've been saying, like, guys, you know, your celebrities or, you know, people that you respect are doing these things, you know, and then now everybody's talking about it. How do you feel about that? I'm happy that they are talking about it so they are more aware and there's nothing wrong with black culture black tradition it's understanding why we do certain things and how we do it because other people do it to endanger others and other people do it to protect themselves so it's when we understand um, why are you using it? Mm. Do they understand the impact in the long run? You know, mm. other people are so bad. They would want to break up somebody's marriage. Mm. They would want to make sure the child dies or something like that because mm. they want that life that the person, the other person has. Mm. So that was the whole point of the conversation. And I'm glad people are now more aware. They are comfortable to talk, mm. and they're also sharing their stories. With you, I've been keeping this thing inside. I think somebody did something like this to me. Yeah. I can't have kids. My marriage is going bad. I can't study anymore because I think my friend took my book. So it's good to now understand that there is a bigger world that we're not talking about or we're not educated about. And the more we talk about it, it's the more we actually learn and also know how to protect ourselves. Mm. Um, man, you know, that's so interesting. And I want to know from you, right? Because you wrote Bear, you know, which was like, you know, basically, <laughs> you know, he. And you know um, that, and you you know I say you expose the north, mm -hmm. uh, but now you know going back to the conversation, yeah. what does Jackie Pamote believe in? So today's conversation, well, my episode was about black spirituality. Mm. I believe in both because I acknowledge who I am as a black individual and who raised me and the family that I come from mm. that believe in their ancestors that know how they fought for certain things and within that fight the belief system mm. and also I do pray to God 
Um, I believe in both and I don't think either one is wrong. It's just what sits comfortable in your spirit, Mautandaza, which one feels good to you. And there's nothing wrong with it. You know? It's just that an understanding that at the end of the day there's a higher being regardless of how you look at it. There's somebody who's governing all of us. There's this energy and a spirit that's governing all of us. Where you believe Uguti, but the truth is, we are here for a reason. So, something brought us here. Mm. And that something will sustain us. Yeah. So, yeah. that's my belief system. You know, you're a, you're a social trend forecaster. So, everybody now is getting a lot of, you know, um, callings. Everybody's a sango mind and spiritual <laughs> awakening. What do you think is going to happen in the next couple of years when it comes to that type of things? A lot of people are confused. Okay. Mm. Um, we've got a lot of mental health issues that mm. people are not addressing. Mm. We've got a lot of social ills that people are not addressing. Mm. There's a uh, generational gaps that are not being merged. We've got our parents and young people who are living separate lives. Mm. So the community and the family and the households are broken. Mm. And now all of these big things are getting... We are getting fed all this information. Mm. You don't even know if you're meant to. Mm. You don't even understand what's going on with you. You don't even understand, is that something that was in your family or you are, are you the first one to be part of that kind of thing? Yeah. So we have a generation that's deeply hurt, confused and gullible. Mm-hmm. And because our parents, that's why I say it starts in the family, we are not having conversations with our parents. Mm. They are too busy, they don't want to acknowledge our problems, they also are suffering from their own traumas, so it's very difficult to do cross-generational conversations. Mm. So now, is not this bona mabona gute on TV? You see it on social media, and you think, oh, maybe send funuk to us, oh, maybe nyakula, oh, maybe it's a mental health thing. Maybe yes, it's a mental health thing, but also maybe it's not. You know. So that's why I say very confused because the generations that are supposed to merge are not merging to educate us properly. So we are always assuming, guti, maybe it's this, maybe it's, we are self-diagnosing when we shouldn't. You know. So you see the mothers who are now becoming so removed from their children Mm. the fathers who history has proven that fathers are moving away from the family structure Mm. so all these kids that are popping out everywhere they are confused Mm. and they need proper guidance and i i do encourage that we speak more and it's these kind of conversations that make us realize that oh there's more to spirituality Mm. there's this element and that element and and that element but it all boils down to do you know who you are where you come from and as an individual what do you accept as your own experience? Because we're all experiencing something here. Yeah. So if you feel, as a black person, if you feel guilty, it seems is not for you. All these rituals, all this culture is not for you, and you just want to follow one thing. That's still okay because you're working with your own ecosystem within yourself, and nobody can impose culture on you or tradition on you or rituals on you. And it's a decision. That's why we have the constitution. Everybody has a right to decide. Yeah, yeah. it's a right to decide. So that's so how I feel about it. Okay. Wow, man. I love, I love that answer. Lastly, you know, um, you're always doing something. You know, you always have something under your sleeve. Yes. Um, what are you doing next? End of May, I'm releasing a new book. It's the last book to the very series, and I'm shutting it down completely. And then I've got something coming on television. Oh, okay. Yes. And a young exclusive I know. Let's just say. I, I, I think it's gonna be, um, you know, a, a series based on your books. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> we out. <laughs> you got it. Right, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, my love. Okay.